So we're here in Hawaii, my home state, and let's take a look at the island of Maui on the east eastern tip from Havi on the Big Island, the northernmost. Oh, Turkey is around. The northernmost point on the Big Island, the island of Hawaii. Hawaii. And we're looking at Maui. And we're looking at the area of Hana, the town of Hana. Beautiful little town. It's a very long drive to get to Hana. Very special drive to get to Hana. If you go to Maui, it's one of the trips that everybody wants to do. And in Hana, there's a little pu'u. A pu'u is a little mound, a little piece of mountain that is visible from Havi. Which, you know, you can see here the depth of the water. Looks very deep. Don't go swimming out there by yourselves. Big sharks and big whales. So you can see the pu'u the here. And it stands out over the rest of Hana. You can see the highest point up there. And down here is a little clothing optional beach if you go around the, the cliff. It's a really nice swimming spot if you're not shy of getting naked with turkeys. So. Let's see how far away is our view here from the shoreline of Hana, I mean Havi. H A W I spells Havi. And we measure to Hana 35.21 miles. 35 miles. It's far away, isn't it? Across the most treacherous waters in Hawaii. So to calculate the curvature of the Earth, we need to have 8 inches per squared mile. So the 35 miles that we measured, we got to square that and multiply that by 8 inches to the foot, which is, according to Turkey's, 0.66666 feet, so 35 miles times itself, we square that number, 35 times 35 is 1225 miles, uh, feet uh, we should say, and we multiply that by two-thirds of a foot, which is 816 feet, so we shouldn't be able to see anything below 600 and, uh, 816 feet tall at 35 miles. Okay, you can try to do the math once again or look it up how to calculate the curvature of the earth. It's all on Google. All right, so let's look at the elevation at that point, at that pu'u, the elevation, how tall that pu'u is in Hana. Let's get down in there. Thank you, turkeys. Yes, one day I will shoot you and eat you, but not today. Don't worry, you can run free for now. You can hear the peacocks on the airplane in the background. So what's the highest point here? It's 
374 I saw, the highest one. Uh, let's see, 344. Let's try to grab a piece of that mountain. 351. 371. So this is about the highest point right there. It's 371, 375 feet. You can be generous and say 380 feet if you want. All right, let's look at my videos that I shot from the shore of Javi on the Big Island. And I bought myself an altimeter be able to be a little bit more precise as I'm standing six feet over the water there. I see water at my feet between the rocks. Oh, three feet. That altimeter sometimes goes up and down. It only goes with the air pressure. A very fine instrument. And we're looking at north. No, what we're looking at. We're looking at Maui, that's what we're looking at. You can see that's the summit of Maui. You can see the observatory up there. Okay, let's go out to see what we can see. Over that water, the Alinuihaha Channel. The most treacherous waters in Hawaii. Hope you don't get seasick on me here. Okay, so you see that treetop here? That's the feature that we can see as I'm standing about six feet over the water level. I don't want to go get my camera in there, my Nikon P900 camera that allows me to zoom so far away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A little too far here, too fast. Skip the video. All right. Now I'm standing at 22 feet. I got up a little higher on the cliff and I'm going to keep on ascending that mountain and show you what we can see across. We can still see the same treetop. Okay. And as we're looking down, we see some more treetops sticking out. Okay. And it looks like there's another little piece of island. Right there, sticking out of the water. Is there an, a little island there at the easternmost point of, of Maui in, by Hana? No, we didn't see any island when we were looking at the Google map. So let's, let's look at another footage here. As I climb a little higher up, 39 feet. Okay, and as we look in a little closer, we can see another, I mean, it's still the same little piece of island, if you want to call it an island, it's sticking out. You can still, still see our tree from the first video. You can see, it looks like, a, it looks like an island. The water is right in between Maui and that little piece of mountain sticking up. Going a little further up at 42 feet. I uh, just want to tell you guys that uh, I noticed the curvature the year before. You can see a little bit more of that island. So the year before I walked down there to the, the same shoreline and I walked across and I looked across with a little telescope I bought myself after looking at so many flat earthers videos that convince me to go tell the people I love that the earth is flat. Tell my in-laws that I just met and other people I didn't know before that, hey, the earth is flat. Yes, look at the videos on YouTube. And then I went out there after telling those people, I said, yeah, we can look at Maui and we can see the, the pu'u at the end of Hana. You can see the flat ground. After telling people that, I went to look at my by myself, and what did I see? I see that, oh, there's another little piece of island sticking out there. So with my telescope, I saw that 
flat earthers were wrong. And I felt so disappointed on the spot. How can the flat earthers be wrong? So many videos of space looks fake. And what NASA does is, is awful. It's, it's a fraud. But as I saw that, I started taking some measurements and calculating things. And I noticed that the flat earthers weren't that far off of the truth. And the globe tards, if you want to call them like that, the people who believe we're spinning on, on a globe in a vacuum of space, we can see that they're wrong according to the elevation of what we see. So as we go up a little higher up every time, 104 feet, we can see a bit more of Hana across the Alenui Haha channel, 35 miles away. So it still looks like an island at 104 feet high. And bear in mind that that Pu'u is 370 some feet tall and with the treetops, we could probably estimate uh, over 400 feet easily. That stands over the, the water line. But according to our math of calculating the curvature of the earth at 35 miles, we shouldn't be able to see anything that is lower than 800 and some feet. 147 feet of elevation. We can see a tiny bit more of that Pu'u in Hana. But the land still doesn't connect. You see the trees are a bit taller. And, um, it's my next video. Oh, no, it's not there. I was in Connecticut. If you haven't seen my other videos that I shot in Connecticut, Go check him out on my channel, on Louie Tubes. Yes, I'm Louie. I'm your curvature amateur. At home in Hawaii. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was in my neighborhood. I could go down there walking to see those things. See a little bit more of the treetops. And, and I could have done that walk right after I've, I was questioning the flat earthers. Because the first video of the flat earth I saw was a rocket being shot up in the air. And from that rocket had a camera. And you could see that it hits the ceiling. It hits the firmament. It doesn't go any further up there. And then you can see how level the earth is across. And you can see the moon, and the moon wasn't even in a phase that, in a phase that was visible at that time of the, the rocket shot. But from way up there, you, they could see it. So it, it wasn't that one video that convinced me, but I, I was curious enough to keep on watching and watching flattered videos and arguing with my wife about it and, and all kinds of other people that I argued with. See, so at 278 feet, I had a really hard time. I, I, was, I was too lazy at the moment to put up my tripod. Uh, so let's just skip this video. So I went back down a little bit on the neighbor's field, 239 feet, and I was standing. So yeah, I could have checked before telling everybody that the earth is flat, that there's actually curvature out there. And I started telling a few uh, flattered YouTubers that, hey, what I can see here in Hawaii, there's curvature. And only uh, 
D. Marble responded to me that saying, "Oh, well, you're, you're doing most than you're doing more than most people out there." But he didn't he didn't turn around and say, "Oh, yeah, maybe this guy is right. Let's make another another observation," or any other flat earthers that I've wrote to and say, "Hey, you know, I've seen these things. I, I have shots on my camera, but I, I I'm not." I don't have the ability to make videos. I don't have I don't have the skills. I don't have the equipment. But now I do. I learned a little bit more how to make that. I'm still not a very keen technician at computers, and you'll probably notice that in my flaws. So we can see across there on Maui, you can almost see the shoreline, and we can see that it is an island all the way across. It's not another little island that's attached to it. And it was, the sun was setting, and that was my last video of the day. But we could see at the end that the ground was joining that little pu'u. Let's do that math again, 35 miles away, times 35 miles. We're squaring that number, we get 1,225. We multiply that by 8 inches to the foot which is two-thirds of a foot, 0.666, which makes 816 feet that we're, we're not supposed to be seeing anything below 816 feet at 35 miles away. Okay, and that pu'u is maybe a bit over 400 feet. So I went to a job there, I cut some bamboo with my handsaw, Impress the guy a little bit, piled up that bamboo so we could chip it down. I saved some of the bamboo, but I finally didn't use it so much. I, I built a few playground things for my kids, but it's a lot of work. A lot of work to work with bamboo. So I'm up here at this work site. It's about 1,300 feet of elevation, and you can see that the pu'u of Hana is definitely connected to Hana Town and there's it's not an island and you can even see some little trees sticking out on the other side which I couldn't see from my last shot that sunset that I showed you before you can see the the water what the white water there on the shoreline okay Hi, I'm Louie. Welcome to my tube, the Curvature Amateur. I have more to show you like this, so hold on to your thoughts. You can make some math all you want. You can compare it with my math. I like to keep things simple. Uh, I'm not a technician very well with computers. And I'm also a French Canadian, so if I have an accent, open your ears a little bit more. Okay, so if uh, we look at what's going on in the world right now, it doesn't look too good, but we can still look at the world with an open mind and an open eye, or two eyes, it works even better than one eye. And as we're looking around, you can see that there are things that we were told. And the things we were told are not necessarily true. Like, are we really spinning on a globe in the vacuum of space? Try to spin a ball and see how it acts. Try to spin a ball with water on top of it. And when we look at the stars, how come they don't change from night to night, from year to year? When we'd be spinning in space, and our solar system is supposed to be moving forward. How can that be possible? The Flat Earthers have came up with a lot of good topics to show that what we're looking at is not what we were told. But they also claim that there is no curvature and that is what I'm here to show you, that uh, there is actually curvature out there that we can see and we can kind of measure with some good reference points. And at home here in Hawaii, I got lots of footage and it's the, probably the best place in the world to be looking at the curvature since we got high mountains and we got a wide span 
of water between the islands. So stay tuned and you'll see that I'm not as crazy as I look. Okay? I'm not crazy at all. Give me a chance. And I'm not conspiring with anybody over this topic here because I made my own observation and I made my own judgment and it's all out of this head here. If you have anything to add to my thoughts, I'm open. And if you have any comments that are going to tell me how crazy I am, I'm not going to be uh, taking that so personally. So be open-minded, be open-hearted, and open eye.